Hello there, Aquarius. Well, it's time for your December bonus love reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Ah, things are about to shift and change for you. Wow. Okay, let's see what's crossing you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is like not knowing whether or not you want to put some time or effort into something or maybe someone thinking that about you. Hmm. I think it might be you though. Okay, now, what is the best thing you can do though? Let's see. At this time, we have Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I almost feel like keep watch. See what happens. Knight of Pentacles. You might have a, a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the energy I'm getting is like, wait and see. I think you, it feels like you already played your hand and you're waiting for them to play their hand. Let me get a charm on this Knight of Pentacles. Oh, we have the hammer and we have vampire teeth. Interesting. Okay. I got a couple of things. I got this person loves to nibble your neck. Okay. Also, it could be someone that drains your energy with the vampire teeth. But it feels like, I don't know, I get more of a strong feeling someone likes to nibble. And then we have the hammer. So maybe they use the hammer. Um, maybe they have a hammer that they use in their uh, field or something. Maybe they're a carpenter or something. I'm just, okay. Now, let's see here. On to the next one. Now I'm going to go back and clarify all these. So what about your ties to this person? What are the ties with this person? Seven of Wands. Feels like you both feel this strong urge to fight for the situation, but are you? I don't know if you are. Let me see if I... Yeah, that felt a little too bright. Yeah. I feel a defensive and I want to fight, but also a defensive. I'm feeling both energy and I'm feeling it for both of you guys. Okay, let's see. Knight of Cups. There's a lot of love between you. You can also have a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces wanting to come towards you. Let's get a charm on that. And we have here Dragonfly. A transition, a change. You might have two people interested in you. Okay. Let's come in this future. Future influences. Page of Swords. I think they're watching you, keeping tabs on you, asking about you, inquiring about you. Um, you also feel like you're learning something new, venturing into something new, maybe studying something new. Let's see. Um, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. We have here a key. Now you're gaining knowledge, and I think they are too. <laughs> I think they're gaining knowledge on you, and you're gaining knowledge on something you're doing. Okay, let's see. Now, to you, how do things look to, from your perspective about this circumstance, this um, relationship, this connection? Ace of Swords, you want the truth. You want the truth. I feel that it's very strong. Give me the truth. And you wouldn't mind starting something new, but you have to have the truth in the matter. Now, how do you, they look at this? Five of Wands. competition they know they'll have to fight for this and there's like heartache and sadness between the two of you so they're gonna have to fix things okay let's, let's look at how your energy actually flows together how, how do you guys connect how do you flow let's see how you flow the hermit wow 
So you're both like not flowing. You're both doing your own thing. Even if you're together, if you're with this person right now, you are doing your own thing. You're like have separate separate lives, separate ways of doing things. Or if you're not with this person, that's what you're both doing. You're, you're healing, it seems like. You're both trying to heal. Virgo energy with the hermit. Okay. Let's see what the most likely outcome is for this connection. Eight of Cups. Someone walking away from something. Someone or something. The devil. Almost feels like someone has to walk away from an addiction. Capricorn energy here. Bad habit, addiction or something. Page of Pentacles. And in order to make an offer, someone has to straighten something out here. <clears throat> Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, we have a hanger. Someone's waiting. Waiting on something. Not making a move. What don't you see? Five of Pentacles. Someone's just feeling really... Someone's feeling not good enough. Or, Yeah, I feel like someone doesn't feel like they're good enough. They, they're in a very dark place. Okay, let me do the words. Okay, let's we'll start with this Knight of Pentacles. Revealed, past life, married. Ooh, so you guys could have been married in a past life. Maybe someone had a past life regression. Let's see about this Knight of Cups. Expect, soulmate, accused. Hmm. So what, someone might be accusing someone of something here. I mean, could they just be accusing, hey, you guys, we're soulmates, so we should be together. I almost feel like you have two different energies here then. Okay, so now with this page of swords, drama, likely, pass. Okay, so this could be in the past you had drama with this person. Of course, if you're no longer with them, that makes sense. Or, um... It also could see this drama has likely passed. It's no longer valid. Or maybe it doesn't doesn't hold the same energy it did. Okay, so let's start clarifying. Okay, it's the wheel. Why is the wheel here for you guys? The moon. There is a lot of emotions and things might be shifting with the moon. Pisces energy. There might be fear here. There's emotions. There might be some secrets. But things are changing. Things are shifting. We have the wheel. Something is going to change. Whatever it is, it's going to flip in another direction here. Now the seven of pentacles. Let's see. Page of Wands. Well, it looks like whoever's been on the fence here, maybe it's this person, I think it might be them, wants to communicate now, wants to get a message to you. Let's get a charm on the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here, oh, they want to balance things out. They want to make things right. They want to bring justice in here. We have the scales. Okay, I'm going to do the words right away since I just put them right on top. We have here, oh, so we have here sincere closure. Will you? Hmm. Okay, so maybe I almost feel like this person is coming to you very sincere. They're going to ask you something. That starts with will you? I think they're actually fearing closure that you're going to close the door on this. They're hoping you won't. Okay. So now let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone has a lot of passion and desire for you. Yeah. The Hammer. 
maybe trying to hit the nail on the head or trying I almost feel like they're trying to get things just right that's, that's what they hit the nail on the head they want to make sure that they get their point across that they bang that nail in right but I don't know I think this person really likes to nibble me I think I can want to show, show me someone nibbling <laughs> okay what about this seven of wands the tower Hmm. This is something, maybe there's some kind of, and this is past energy, something that happened in the past that was very surprising. It came out of the blue. Um, I almost feel like there was an argument, but this person, I don't know why I feel like they didn't really defend themselves. It's like something happened here, out of the blue, some, some surprise, and this person... Just didn't say anything, didn't do anything. They they didn't defend themselves. They I guess they I think they really were caught off guard. Okay, let's see. Or it could have been you. Let's see about this Knight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Okay, so you're destined to have this one come in. There's um I think you're destined to be choosing between two. Things are gonna shift, things are gonna change. What about this um page of swords? This by guy spy girl. Ten of Cups. Okay, someone really wants to have a family with you or be in your family or, you know, be family. Hmm. Okay, now, let's see here. Let's see about your, how things look to you. Wow. Would you believe we have the Ace of the Swords with the Ace of the Swords? Yeah, you want the truth. <laughs> you don't want anything else but the truth here. Okay, what about them? Five, well, look at this. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This person is really, um, this feels like they feel defeated. Wow. Fives are changes, though. Now, let's see. We have the Nine of Cups. Whoa. It's like... So we have you both trying to heal here to, to probably come together for your Nine of Cups. I think you both want this connection. But it has to come in right. Okay, what about the Eight of Cups for the possible outcome here? Page of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, someone is definitely keeping tabs on you. Let me get a charm on this page of swords. This also could be that you, you too, I feel like you are doing something too here. Um, we have, um, okay, here we have, we have a dragon, so protection, wisdom. I think you're, you're focused on your career, you're focused on your business, or you're focused on your money. And this person's focused on you. Let me, um, get the words on this page of swords. Omitted memories, fear. Okay, so this person, when they do come towards you, they're going to admit uh, they had fear about something here. And that's the memories of fear. Okay, so why do we have the devil here? Now, devil could represent fear. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work together here, though. And this person is also working on something that that they see as an issue, as a, a problem within themselves that they have to fix. Oh, I didn't put anything on the Page of Pentacles. Okay, I put the words on the Page of Pentacles. We have here. Surprise. Breakup. Single. Okay, so... This person might be coming to you after they break up with someone else. And they're going to surprise you by just being single here. Okay, let's get a clarifier for that. Ten of Pentacles. They want a commitment with you. This person's working on themselves. They're trying to come in to have a commitment. Death, look at this. Ending, new beginning, major transformation. 
this person I think has some things that they have to take care of they have to work on but there's major change coming you don't see this this person feels totally left out totally abandoned but they're trying to come in towards you okay you know what me too where's my deck here yeah let me do this deck Let's see what else we get on this okay so what is the likelihood of this working? Let's see that. What is the like likelihood of this actually working? We have ex-partner. Patience. Reconciliation. Yes. This, this person wants to work on this. And now if you're with someone right now and you're having a hard time, then um, that person wants to work on things. Or there's this ex-partner that is being very patient, or you have to be patient with them, but there is a reconciliation coming in, which also what you don't see, it has to feel safe. So that's very important. Someone has to feel safe to do this. Okay. I think someone's working on that. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. There's signs here for Aquarius. Let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial and they have a middle name and you know that middle name and you get that name, that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. Okay. Let's see here. C. D. A. V, 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 wow, M, J, P, L, A. Okay, so the letters we have right there are C, D, A, V, 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 M, J, P, L, A. Now... Let's do the names. Let's do the names. Okay, so we have here Cynthia. Flor, F-L-O-R. Daisy. Samantha. Freddie. Randy. I gotta go over here. Um, Cherise. C H E R I S E S E. Kirsten. K I R S T E N. Giles. Vinny. Allen. And George. Okay, so we have three, six. 12 names. Okay, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. And when your other placements might give you that missing piece, that missing link, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. And I just want to thank you all for all your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. And I love you so much. And thank you for the likes. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. And um, and thank you for checking to see if you're subscribed. Because I know a lot of people are getting unsubscribed or not getting notifications. So um, I have been posting on my community tab all the readings. Every time I post them, you know, right after or shortly after, I will 
put a link to all the readings because I know a lot of you guys are not getting contacted or you're getting unsubscribed. So I really appreciate you guys. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.